O oh God, make speed to save us. Tenebrae is a Latin word that means darkness or shadows. Uh, for centuries, it's been applied to the ancient monastic offices of late night and early morning. We've inherited that practice in the midst of Holy Week to encapsulate or incorporate the entirety of Passion Tide. The main symbol of Tenebrae is this 15 candle um, display case, essentially, which is actually called a hearse. And we use this to mark time and space as we tell the story of the Passion. Darkness covered the land when Jesus had been crucified. And he was For many churches, the practice of singing, praying, enjoying silence and time for reflection as an entryway into the Triduum, the three holiest days of the church year, has become profoundly important. It's an opportunity to mark time and count time out of time, right? Holy time, God's time, that allows us to really center ourselves into the beauty, the mystery, the meaning, the majesty of Holy Week. One of the reasons why Trinity is very invested in the office of Tenebrae is that it allows us to meditate on Christ's journey to the cross. But in our particular expression of this service, we meditate on that journey in poem, in anthem, in song and story. After every anthem, a candle is put out after every reading, readings selected by the clergy, a candle will be put out until we count our way to the very last candle, which is not ever put out. The last candle is removed almost at the end of Tenebrae to symbolize Christ's journey into the tomb for our great benefit, right? Christ's victory over death and after the candle has been removed, there's a big earthquake, the earthquake of the resurrection. And this only happens on Tenebrae. This gives us a glimpse of the resurrection. We are given the gift of light through the tomb. And then we depart in the light of that candle, that Christ candle.